All right, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Malikarjun here. So today I'm gonna quickly demonstrate on the clusterware maintenance or clusterware, uh, you know, downtime. How we can do a, a drag cluster nodes. Being at one particular node, you can bring down the other cluster node services, rack services, and cluster services. All this gonna I'm gonna demonstrate on this today's session. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then share this video to your friends and colleagues. That's a Malik Jyoti 4 is my channel name. Right, let's quickly jump onto my lab here. So I have node one where my ASM one is running, test instance one is running. Whereas I have node two where my ASM two is running and test two instance is running. So quickly I can do OLS nodes. That will tell me node one and node two. Those are the two rack cluster nodes. Same thing on the other node, OLS nodes. Dot or INV, dot or INV, plus ASM2, plus ASM2, oh my bad, plus ASM2, OLS nodes again, OLS nodes. So same thing, node one and node two. <clears throat> right now, what I need, I want to shut down my node one. So bring down, bring down node one. So I'm gonna do CRS ETL stop CRS. CRS ETL stop HAS. So both are gonna do same thing. I want to bring down my node one. So both are gonna do the same thing. If I want to bring down my node two, I'm gonna do CRS detail stop CRS, CRS detail stop HS. Both are gonna do the same thing for me. So before that, I want to check my cluster status. I'm gonna do CRS ETL check CRS, CRS ETL check HAS. Same thing goes for your node one as well. So CRCTL check CRS, CRCTL check HS, it's gonna give you cluster status on that node. And CRCTL stop CRS or CRCTL stop HS, it's gonna bring down your entire cluster services on that node. So before stop, I can do CRCTL stat resource hyphen T hyphen init on that node. That's gonna tell me all the cluster services on that particular node. So let's do one by one on node one. CRCTL check CRS, your OHSD, CRSD, and synchronization service, CSSD, and event manager. So all are up and running. And your HAS alone, CRCTL check HAS, Oracle High Ability Service. And then you want to check for your cluster resources on this node one, your cluster resources, your ASM, interconnect, CRF, CRSD, CSSD, CSSD monitor, CTSSD, Discmon, driver, SAFS, EVMD, GIPCD, GPNPD, MDNSD, and storage all are online except your Discmon because it's not an Exerator server. So I think I'll do the same thing on the other node. CRSTL, check CRS, your HAS, CRSD, CSSD, and event manager. And check HS alone, that will be up and running. So I can do the same thing, the cluster resource on node two. Same, all the cluster resources are up and running here. So I'll put this command as well here. So now I want to bring down my node one. I can do pretty much CRSTL stop CRS on node one. The moment I bring down your all the cluster services will be down on node one and your all the cluster resources like scan or your VIPs, the node VIPs, scan VIPs, all will be fail over to your node two. So that can be checked using the command, same command, but without hyphen in it. CRCTL start resource hyphen T. If I run this stat resource I put it, that won't tell me all the cluster demons which are running across all the cluster nodes. And if there's any failure happens on your VIPs or scan listeners on scan IPs, 
all will be shown on this particular node. Right now, node one, everything is down. You can do PSF and EF, grab S small. Everything is down. PSF and EF, grab D dot bin. So everything is down. PSF and EF, grab TNS. So everything is down. So these are your other command to validate after your cluster is stopped. PSF and EF, grab S small. PSF and EF, grab D dot bin. PSF and EF, grab TNS. And then followed by same thing, these two command also you can check it out, followed by check CRS, check SCS, you can do all of them. These commands will never work. See the CRS command will never work after your cluster is stopped. If I try to do this one, stop CRS, cannot contact your high availability service, stop HS, same thing, cannot contact your Oracle high availability services, start resource if and infinite. We cannot contact your high ability service command status failed and this one it's also failed so whereas if i go to second node and the second node if i do the same command without hyphen t hyphen in it if i do crctl stat resource hyphen t so that's going to give me all the cluster wide resources and right now your listener running on node 2 your database listener running on node 2 your network only a node 2 so all the services running on only node 2 so whereas your vip is node 1 vip intermediate and failed over to your second node and all your scan running on node 2 all your scan listeners running on node 2 right because everything is failed over to your second node and your test database which is running on node 2 and instance 1 is down because on node 1 everything is down so now i can do stop crs i did a stop crs on node one now i can do stop hs on node one node two so both the commands are doing the same thing for you it's going to bring down your entire cluster services so after this one i can do the same checks here these are your check commands let it complete this one so node one so completely down means down in the sense all the cluster services are down including your listener asm database instances database services cluster services cluster resource cluster demand everything is down on node one because we use crsctl stop crs so i may as on node one node two we are using instead of stop crs i'm using a stop hs stop hs also going to do the same thing you're going to bring down your all the Cluster resources, cluster services, cluster demands, your listeners, your uh, database services, database instance, CSM instance, everything will be down here. So I turn the node to PSFNEF grep SMON, PSFNEF grep TNS, PSFNEF grep D dot bin, everything is down. So now I can do my CRSTL check CRS. So high of the service is down, check HS down and CRCTL stat resource I went down and your stat resource I went down. So nothing is running here. So now in order to start your cluster back, so I can do the same thing. Instead of stop CRS and top HS, I can do start CRS, start HS. Same thing on my node 2 as well. Start CRS. So on node 1, I did a stop CRS. Now I'm going to do start HAS. It's going to be one and same. And on other node, I'm going to do start CRS. I did a stop HAS here on node 2. Where is that command here? I did a stop HAS. Now I'm going to do start CRS. Both are one and same. So node 1. Stop HS, Oracle High Ability Service D1 has been started. On Node 2, Oracle High Ability Service D1 has started. So after that, you can keep on monitoring your instances like CRSTL stop resource hyphen T hyphen init and followed by the same thing. We're going to do all these things here. So check HS. 
and followed by your so this is your check commands after started you're going to do this one so right now i can do sales it is top resource stat resource i can type in it on node 2 so all the cluster demands are getting started and same command i'll run it on node 1 same thing here all the cluster demands are getting started cluster resources are getting started again in order to understand this cluster startup sequence there's a beautiful video i uploaded in the past in my channel you can refer that cluster startup sequence level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 right so on node 1 all the cluster resources are started here node 2 right node 2 also all the cluster is so started except your CRST, which is intermediate. So it's going to start in a few minutes. Okay, that is also got started now. So everything is back online on node one and node two. So let's quickly do the same checks here. So PSFNF grep S1 on node one. So your database instance, ASM instance started and PSFNF grep D dot bin. All the cluster demons are started here and your TNS. All the TNS listeners are started here and your check CRS. All your OHSD, CRSD, CSSD, event manager, everything is online. Check HAS alone. Your HAS Oracle hybrid service demon is online. CRS detail start resource type and T, all the cluster wide resource are all online. Right, let's go to second node PSFNEF grep SMON. So your database instance, PSM instance are online. D.win, all the cluster demons are online. And TNS, PSFNEF grep TNS, all the listeners are online and then followed by your check crs your ohsd crsd cssd and event major all are online check hs oracle hybrid service demon or demand service is online crs detail start resource i pen ti pen in it everything is online here basically we're going to do this check at the very beginning after the start now i can do Stat resource I T. All the cluster wide resource are online. Right. So, oh, uh, here you have the things online. Online, everything is done. Looks good. Now, this is a node specific. Bringing down your node one cluster resource. Bringing down your node two cluster resource. So, is there any command I can do it? all in one shot being in one node can i do all the cluster wide downtime so for that we have crsctl stop cluster hyphen all crsctl stop cluster hyphen all followed by crsctl stop has on all node so we're going to do it on node one or on any one node any one cluster node any one of any one cluster node so from any one cluster node you can do stop cluster all and on all cluster nodes so we're going to do stop hs because the stop cluster all will stop all the resources across all the cluster node except your hs so if i do this stop cluster all from node one it want to stop your node one and node two all the cluster but uh, your HAS will be still up and running. So similarly, we have this start cluster all. So in order to do the start cluster all, your HAS has to be up and running. So the moment you start your HAS, all your cluster resource will come up. You, it will never give you a chance to start your cluster all options. Right, let's see, let it go down and we'll quickly check this one. On node 2, PSFNEF, grep S mod. Node 2, everything is down. 
node one also should be down and we'll wait for a few more seconds it will be down right node two also down psf nf grab s mount everything is down but if i do crs ctl check crs so your has is online as apart from that your crs css and event manager all are down on node one if i do crs ctl check has your HAS is online on node one. Same thing on node two. Your HAS, Oracle High Ability Service Team on OHST, it's online. Your CRST, CSST, Event Manager is all down. So if I do check HAS, same thing. But so you can quickly check this one after this top. You can do. TNS, you can do D dot bin, same output, but I'm not going to do it. I just put all the commands. So, followed by you can do stop check HAS and check CRS. Right. So, once that is done, I have to manually stop HAS on both the nodes. Right. If I do CRS ETL stat resource hyphen T hyphen init. So same thing, everything is down, right? You can see a few of the services are still online because your HAS is running. So now I can quickly do stop HAS and node one. Same thing, CRS ETL, that resource hyphen T hyphen init. So most of the services are down. Your HAS is still online. I can do stop HAS. So node one, Top HAS has been completed. Now you can do check HAS down, start resource hyphen T hyphen, everything is down. The same thing you can do it on node 2 as well. Node 2 also your HAS will go down and everything will be down. So check HAS down, start resource hyphen T hyphen, everything is down. So now if you want to do a start cluster all this command will not work so if i do it on node one so it will not work so in order to run this command you have to start your has first crctl start has on node one the moment you start to start has or start CRS, we already understood you're going to bring up your all the cluster services on this node one let it run this one Cat resource hyphen T hyphen in it. So now if I try to run this, okay, this is start HS, start HS, and stat. So now if I do start cluster all from the node one, because node one, your HS is up and running. Yeah. Give me a second, guys. Uh, they are CTL stat resource hyphen T hyphen it. It's everything getting started here now. Now, if I try to do this stop cluster all, uh, sorry, start cluster all. So, start cluster all started here and then do PS hyphen EF. Uh, let's wait for your cluster demand to start here. And now, let's go to your second node, run the same CR CTL stat resource hyphen T hyphen it. Nothing is getting started here. So even though your start cluster all says successfully completed, it is completed only on node one. So node one, you no need to do it at all because the moment you do start HAS here, where we did start HAS itself will take care of bringing it everything. So in order to node one to communicate with the node two, your node two HAS should be started here. So I'm just going to do start CTL start HAS. So the moment I start do start HAS, Automatically, all your cluster resources will be get started here as part of this start command. Right, so so in, in simple words, your start cluster all with very rare case will get into useful useful scenario. Stop cluster all, somehow we can make use of that, but uh, start cluster all will never get a chance to do this. Right, so let's give it few more minutes, both the cluster nodes to get started. Right, on node one, ASM, test one, everything is back online. On node two, 
Note to also everything is online. Accept your CRST. CRST will come in a few minutes. Right, your CRST also came online. PSA if any of grab PSMON. And it won't take a few more seconds to bring your ASM and cluster back online. Right, your ASM is back online. Your database instance will come in a few seconds. Right, and then quickly from the node one, CRSTL tat resource t. That will going to give you all the cluster wide. Your second instance database instance getting started. Right, so that's a quick intro about how you can do your cluster maintenance node specific or all the cluster nodes using your CRSTL command. That's all for the today's session, guys. Let's connect on our next session. Thank you.